we are now going to look at a different way of writing the equation of a straight line. In this case, we have two points on the line that are given. So, line L passes through A x1, y1 and B x2, y2. So, these two are given points. Line passes through both of them. Well, it has to be this line in that case. So, we want the equation of this line. Well, if you knew the slope of this line and one point, then of course, we can write the slope point equation of the line. It will be y minus y1 is m times x minus x1. Here you know y1 and x1. What we don't know is m. But once I know two points, you can always find m, right? So, here the slope m is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. If I take this slope value and substitute it there, I get the two point equation of the line. y minus y1 is m times y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. That is m, m times x minus x1. So, this is nothing but the earlier equation that we had except the value of m is computed by using the values of x1, y1 and x2, y2. That is all. So, you are using this to find the value of m and writing the equation. So, it is nothing new really. It is the same as the earlier equation except now instead of giving you the value of m, you are given two points so you can find the value of m. But sometimes people like to rewrite this in a slightly different way. So, they write y minus y1 by y2 minus y1. You just bring this down is x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. Both of these are acceptable forms for writing the two point equation of a straight line. So, y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. This is one way of writing it. I usually prefer this one because it looks exactly like the equation I know. y minus y1 is equal to slope times x minus x1. Slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So, this makes it very simple. I do not have to remember anything at all. Let us now look at a couple of examples using the two point form of the equation. In this example, we have been told that line L passes through A as well as B. A has coordinates minus 4, 2, it is going to be here. B has coordinates 8, 5, it is going to be there. And if line has to pass through both, the line has to look like this. So, that is line L. How do I find its equation? Well, I have two points. So, we can directly write the equation of the line y minus y1 is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. This is just the slope of this line times x minus x1. Now, I am going to use this as the first coordinate x1 comma y1. So, x1 is minus 4, y1 is 2. So, if I substitute, I will get y minus 2 is y2 minus y1, 5 minus 2 by 8 minus of minus 4. So, 8 plus 4, this is the slope times x minus minus 4. So, x plus 4. What is this? 3 by 12. So, 3 by 12 times x plus 4. Well, that is going to give me 1 by 4. So, x plus 4 by 4. So, y minus 2 is equal to x plus 4 by 4. That is the equation of the line. But that looks a little messy. So, why don't I just keep y on one side and move everything else to one side? Yes, we can do that. So, y is equal to x by 4 plus 4 by 4 which is 1 plus 2. So, this is going to give me 3. So, y is equal to x by 4 plus 3. Now, this is the equation of this line. But this is also of the form y equal to mx plus c. So, what is the slope? 1 by 4. And what is the y intercept? 3. Right? We can read it off directly from this equation. In fact, slope is 1 by 4. You can see this is the slope. This is 3 by 12. 3 by 12 is 1 by 4. So, slope is 1 by 4. You can directly see. You could have of course calculated it here itself. Y intercept is 3. That tells you that this is 3. Okay. So, this point will be 0, 3. Anyway, the two point form of the equation 
This is the two point form of the equation. This allows us to directly calculate the equation of the line.